Good morning, everyone. I am starting a little bit early, and I'm sharing um, a collection of um, digitals that I got from the Etsy shop Shabby Dabby Doodah. You know that she is one of my favorites on YouTube, and I have just a little bit of a story, the reason why I'm kind of sharing this, so... Um, let me show you the papers real fast, and then I'm going to work while we're waiting for people. So, this is some new ones she had up. These are pockets. I just like the colors. Can you all imagine that? Look how pretty these are. So, I'm just going to be, we're just going to be crafting and working on journals today. These are fun pockets, and I'm just putting them on something that's a little sturdier, just like a um, file folder. And then I have this one we're gonna work too. Hi, Cindy. The reason I'm sharing about Shabby Dabby Doo Dog, guys, is because she does amazing work and she put out a really vulnerable video the other day and I just saw it last night. And she has gone through a divorce and my, you know, it's kind of, I, I am so blessed that I have a good relationship with my ex. It's taking time, but we're there. And I love his wife. I, you know, I love him. I love, and and he's always, you know, when I've asked for the most part, he's been great for helping with the boys. Um, but apparently she's going through a really hard time financially. She shared she hasn't been able to make her mortgage. Anyway, I went and bought digitals from her and then I sent her some coffee. Like you can you can donate for her video and everything. And I just thought, I'm just going to do a little, if you want to go buy any of her digitals, it's Shabby Dabby Doo Dah on Etsy. You can go buy her a coffee, but she had, she's trying to take care of three kids and her home. And it just kind of broke my heart as a former single mom. Oh my gosh, it just kind of broke my heart. So if you feel inclined, great. If you don't, Great. I'm going to be doing some fussy cutting. Um, oh, real fast. So, and, oh, and I didn't show you. These are the, these are some, these are called, um, it's blue, which y'all know how much I love blue. Look at these are just pet collage pages. But y'all, and I thought, you know, I can make those. <laughs> I'll be making some of those to put on my website. So, let's look at this. Let's look at our, remember we did this yesterday? We're going to just look and see what happened when we added, we added salt and alcohol. Didn't do much. And I went to find vinegar, which I don't have any white vinegar. I'm going to the store. I'm going. To, I'm taking Josh to the doctor of the little clinic, and I'm going to grab some um, white vinegar and stuff so we can play with that as well. But let's take the salt off and see if that does anything. So if you join, please just say hello so I know you're here. I would love for any kind of sharing or hearts that lets Facebook know and YouTube know. If you want to share to YouTube, hey, you know, or like, whatever. It just lets them know that people, um, you know, hours and stuff so um yes and tell me where you're from to help me remind because once till i learn everybody's name it's hard for me sometimes to remember and so while we're, we're going to be making some little um clusters too oh yes thank you yes that is for um if you do the telegram it lets you know when i go live so it'd be i'd love for everybody to go and join we're going to be using some of the papers we've been making and make little fun clusters but let's get rid of this salt and see what happens okay I left it for you all to do with me. I don't know if it's gonna have much of an impact or not, but let's just, I'm gonna scrape it off. It's kinda of stuck, so I don't know. And I don't wanna leave it on there. You know, I don't know if you're supposed to take it off when it's wet. I have no clue. I have no clue. Good morning, Nancy. Thank you. I got these from my friend, gosh, years ago, because I love a big earring, you know? Let's see. Let's just wipe on this thing, and then I can wipe it up. That did give some pretty cool texture, didn't it? Look at that. And then we just did globs of paint down here, and this is the rubbing alcohol, which is zip. So this would be fun to use as a cluster base. So we'll, I'll put this aside. I'll clean up my salt. <laughs> Don't, it's blue salt. Don't want to use that on fries. Even though, well, it's just watercolor. All right, let's, let me get here in the middle. Well, to the side, so I'm with y'all. Um, and um, 
So these are, these are, this is shabby dabby doo dot. I don't know what this was called. I will look for it. I have glued this to just file folders. And because it's thin, and this is like a thin file folder, I was cleaning out a file cabinet because I'm going to use it at the shop. And I thought this would be a good thing. I'm just going to go in and make sure these are glued down well. So, yes. Okay, now, if I have a question, I'm going to ask my people. I think I know what I'm going to go with, but I'm going to show you all, but I'm also going to put it on the page for votes. And I tend, uh, you know, I'm very decisive for other people. Why am I not decisive for myself? I don't know. But I am not. So who knows? <clears throat> who knows what's wrong with me? But anyway, I'm just making sure everything is stuck down. Okay. Um, I am wanting to do t-shirts for my grand reopening. Whatever the, if we're going to call it. I don't know. You know, this is going to be like my third. But third and final, I hope. And I'm shooting for like mid-August. We'll see how it goes. Anywho, I have some t-shirts and I'd love that I'm, that, you know, I'm going to be wearing and selling, you know, just at cost so that it's, you know, fun. And I'm incorporating new colors. So tell me your thoughts on this. Do you think this would be, oh, go solo, would be a fun t-shirt. I just... It's pink, and then I have it like in a coral, like a soft red. I'm, I'm calling them, I don't want it to be coral, but I want it to be, you know, soft red. And um, anyway, that's kind of what I'm working on. So I'll be putting those up if you want to go over there. Um, I just think that would be fun. And I'm just going to show you one little pocket. This is a different shape pocket, so I thought this would be fun to do and to show you all. So, and I love the blue. I love there's a green that's, I didn't print because I, it was like, I, like I bought these like at 11.30 last night. <laughs> and my husband stayed up late. He is obsessed y'all with this whole, hey Tammy, this whole submarine going down. And, you know, for the Titanic. And my heart just breaks for the family because I'm just kind of like really, really, Okay, that's what we want to do. Yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. So, I'm just going to try. Let's put this straight like that and see if I can maybe get my bend. Let's, let's line it up like that. <laughs> let's see if I can get it straight for the pocket because when I did it on my own, it wasn't so straight. Let's just say that. I'll have to re-glue once I fold them because they tend to um, pull apart, you know, so, which is fine. It can do that. We've got lots of room. I don't know. So this is the, there we go. Let's see. It's, it's a little bit of a gusset, which is kind of fun. Tammy, I think we need to talk. I want to know what this big project is you got going on. You're all slim shady about. That's exciting. Can't wait to hear. You don't have to tell it here. We can talk privately. <laughs> um, anyway, I just thought, you know, our community... Our little creative community is so sweet and kind. And she does such great free content on her YouTube channel. I was just like, I think, I think I want to support her. That's what I was thinking last night at 1130. And so, I did. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go in with my Fabrifix and just attach all this so that I know it will stick really good. This may be sticking. Nope, nope, nope. But I just like, I'm going to have to use it everywhere. I like file folder because it makes it a little stronger and gives it a little zhuzh and it, oh, that's 
party going on inside of there. Anyway, what are we working on? Everybody, besides Tammy's secret thing that she's not sharing with anybody just yet. Well, it's like I, it's like, why did I even use a glue stick? Is that repositionable? No. What was the point of that, Beth? That was just like useless. It was just a waste of my time. Waste of my glue stick. Because it was not sticking. I don't know. Note to self. Don't do that again. I just like it because it kind of gives it a flat. Okay, Dana, her name is, it's, it's on face on YouTube, it's Shabby Dabby Doo Da. She, let me put the name up there. Shabby Dabby Doo Da. Hey, Lee, if you're watching, would you drop a link to her YouTube channel? She's just going through, a, she's been going through a really bad divorce for a few years. And all of a sudden, you know, people, you bring money into anything and it just gets ugly. So, and I just, as a former single mom who, you know, had a lot, I mean, had a lot of money at one time and had a lot of help in my house, <laughs> then I became the help. Very good perspective. And I love that God gave it to me. I do not have to do that now. And I, and I think it's a great way to earn money and it's a great way to stay in shape. And if I didn't have this job, I would be doing that because it's great money, you know? So... I know, I know, I know. So I just, I just went and bought some of her digitals. And you can give by her coffee, which is fun. It goes straight to her money on her YouTube page. I just bought her some coffee. And just so, I mean, honestly, guys, there's been times when I was single, I didn't have money to buy groceries, okay? So, and it's not, listen, my ex, it was, we were, he was in a tough time. I was in a tough time. I am not dogging anybody. It was, it's just whenever you have a death of a marriage, it's hard, period. And that's what it is. A marriage dies. So, look how cute. So, that's the, what the pocket becomes. But it's the, you know, she's got these cool things. And then she has, so then you can go on and all these fun little doodahs to go with it. Which I love. I love these labels. These little fussy cats. Because y'all know I love fussy kitty not at all but I thought they're just the, these are fun I think that's fun I love all the squares I think she I think these are just so much fun so I thought we would do a little play little stuff just a little I don't know just a little something and then I have this um, and I trimmed this up I'm going to try and put it in the middle let's measure and see if I can find the middle so it's like, oh, the middle is, it's 10 and, let's just see if we can fold the middle. You know me, I don't do any kind of measuring. I was working, I was helping my for sweet friend, um, Sharla, and we were working on a book for a friend of hers, and <laughs> I wasn't using any kind of measuring. And I was like, does this drive you crazy? She goes, no, it seems pretty efficient. I was like, I don't measure. I just don't like to measure. My sweet friend, Sharla. You all know her. I, um, and anyway, so yeah. Yep, my little boy came home very sick yesterday. I don't know how sick he is. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he doesn't feel good, but let's just say he could never have a baby. Listen, men have wonderful qualities, and I feel like God designed them. They're not wimps by any means, am I saying that? Or, you know, I just feel like when it comes to sickness, that is not their strong suit. They have strengths in many different ways, you know? But I don't think handling sickness for themselves is one of them. I'm going to say about that. <clears throat> yep. So, I don't have my tear ruler. Let me see if I can find one real fast. Let's see what we can do with this thing. Okay. Because I'd much rather use a ruler to tear any day than... Than... 
don't. No, of course I don't. It's like, like, no, 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 no. Dang it. Dang gum it. Okay. It's okay. We're going to make it work. We're just going to make it work. So. And so I'm not putting down mulberries from our tree. Oh, oh my gosh. And please post pictures. This would be cute. So I'd grab that real fast. Oh, I grabbed a pair of scissors like I didn't have any. All right. Let's see if I can. You know how you used to if you fold it and you do it and nest with your finger, it tears a lot easier? I'm going to try that. Okay. Hey, Katie. And let's see if we can maybe get a decent hair with this little rubber ruler that I have going on. Okay. There we go. So, these we're going to make into covers. I'm not going to make, um, I'm not going to, I'm not thinking, I'm thinking I'm not going to make... So let's, let's see if this can be our book cover. I don't know if it's going to be big enough or not. Yes. Okay. All right. Oh, that's so fun. Mulberries. I've never, I don't, I, I guess I didn't realize that there really are is that stupid enough? Yeah, Beth. There are actual mulberries, sweetie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to do some cutting with a line. Oh, where is... Maybe I could just use this thing and do that. We'll just... Let's make it straight. And we'll just go in... And does that work? Kind of scored it for me, didn't it? Maybe. Um, so yeah, love his little heart. And he is, he's coughing, he's blowing stuff. You don't even want to know what's coming out of his nose. So he is sick. And you know, when they're sick, I try to, um, I do like to take care of my people. I mean, I'm not an ogre, you know? Not a complete ogre, just kind of sort of maybe ogre. Let's, we want it. Let's get in, let's get in frame, Beth. I am going to go solo and just pull y'all back a little bit because we're very close. There we go. And then I can add me in. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> So, yes. You know what? I'm just going to cut. Duh. I'm going to let this be my line right there. Because I don't want to, that hump in it. Let's see if we can take that out. And I don't want my auto receipts. I don't want that. Okay, I don't have a corner rounder or anything, but we're just gonna go with it. How fun. There we go. This works. This kindly works, doesn't it? I think. So, all right, we're gonna cover this. We're also going to cut this so we can have a bigger spine. Oh, I bet it's incredible. Oh, you need to, you need, and you need to sell packets of the, of the paper. I would totally buy some. Yeah, please do. I totally want to buy purple, natural purple. Have you seen that wood that's like naturally purple? You know, I, I know that it's on, it's on, um, you know, HGTV all the time. Anyway, all right. Let's cover these with some paper A, either um, coffee dyed paper, 
which would be good. I think I have some in my stash down here. Yeah. Beef it up a bit. Uh huh. And then we're just going to glue it. Let's find the best side for it. So I'm just kind of making, I'm going to fold, I want that to be on the outside, because look how gorgeous that is. Um, and maybe, if, I'm just going to put it right here in the middle, and then I can fold it over, and it's totally going to um, beef up the, it's flexible, but it's going to make it a little more sturdy. So, yeah. Let's just play and see what happens. Yes, and then I don't know what I'm going to do for a hinge, but we'll do something for a hinge. You know? I'm just playing. Just maybe some fabric or ribbon or some um, washi or... Amity Bloom did this. This is hers. And it was fun to watch her. So now I'm going to go on this side and press this down to get it as flat as possible. You know, move that glue around to the back of my board right there where I don't want it to be. And get on the cover. But let's that's a bad idea. Don't ever put water on three and one because it will not respect the water or anything. Just scrape it off. There we go. Goober Beth, you knew that. Oh, what is this? Uh huh. Huh. Hey, um, Lee, are you on here? Is I don't know if that person is legit or if they are selling something. Or if we've got like a, you know, which I'm going to save these corners because this is how I do. I wrap all my paper. Basically, you're just cutting out a triangle. Okay. And then you're just going to fold it up like that. Good morning. Thanks, Denise. Thank you so much. Guys, <gasps> I made it to 1900 on Facebook. Thank you so much. Hello, Laurie. I have totally, you know, I lost my page a year and a half ago. Well, it was in, what is this, 23? So it was like in February of 22. So a year and a half, you know, I don't do numbers ever because my brain damaged. Legitimately friends brain damage just let me say okay you know what this might be working let's did i glue those already no um there was glue on there i might have enough to have wrapped it like this that we can glue the cover right here and have this be the awesome inside hmm, let's just see let's just see now coffee dye i've done a whole thing on coffee dye i talk about it all the time I love it. I've done it. You can do it with bubbles, with Dawn and coffee, and you go, <laughs> blow it, and then you put it on there, and it makes the most, it makes the coolest coffee dyed paper, and it dries pretty fast, so that's fun. You know, we all hate to wait, and then sometimes I'll just iron it. It depends on where I am. I'm home now, so I got an oven, and I'll just whip it into the oven to dry one time, and let's just say the hubby was not so happy with me. Hi, Katain. Is it Katana? Is it Long A or Short A? And Bolander, awesome. Thank you for joining. I appreciate it so much. I'm in Kentucky, honey. Were we close? Yeah. So, uh, we, you just, we're neighbors. How fun is that? If you're brand new, tell me where you're from. Um, I love paper crafting. <laughs> I love everything crafting. Um, I told you all about the Celebration Company. They're having that awesome event. Let me go over that with you all right now. Um, they have just a few spots left. It's right here in Central Kentucky. I will be there presenting. And um, so excited to be sharing journal making. 
and I'm going to be going live with them Monday in the morning, either 9 or 30. I'm not sure, Kayla and I have not decided that, but we're going to be paper crafting as well, and it didn't show you. There we go. Sorry. Wow, this looks good. Are we going to be able to do this? Which, yes! Yay! That's a happy accident, can I say? Woo! Okay, Louisiana, hello! Where am I from? Katana? Is, am I saying it right? Is a long A or short A? Katana, Katana, help me to say the correct thing. I am in Kentucky, Central Kentucky. Yes, and I have a shop coming soon. So, um, okay, so look, this is going to fit right on top of that. <laughs> That's a happy accident. I think I need to just trim it a bit just a little bit and get this purple off but we're also going to um, do some coffee dyeing I mean we're gonna do some little we're gonna put some walnut or vintage photo on here I'm going to leave this right here because we're gonna be using this for our spine it, it's it's okay so is it is the tan is it tan or tawn Tan for long, a ah, tan for short A. I'm a former kindergarten teacher, so excuse me for. Okay, there's that one. Let's cover this one. And what's the best page? What's the best side to see? All right, we're gonna do this one. Anyway, it's a nice weather. Well, it's 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 overcast and it's chilly. And and okay, okay. tan. Okay, katana. Is that it? Okay, thank you. Um. I am. I always ask because I don't want to sit here because I'm in Versailles, Kentucky, which is spelled like Versailles, Versailles in France, but in Kentucky we say Versailles. So it sounds like for sale, but it's for sales. It's if you put it, um, if somebody calls you about it, they'll go for sellers. They don't even say for sales, or they'll say, um, you know, if you are doing like AI or something, it's really funny the way they say it. They don't say Versailles, they say Versailles. And it's like, no, it's, at least say it like in France. Anyway, it's funny. Okay, so we're going to, I'm not gonna turn this over, I'm gonna push this right here. So I don't, I just don't want to get all that glue all over my page. So I'm gonna push it right on here. If it pushes it out to the corner, that is totally fine. To get that paper kind of smooth. You know. Because it gets all kind of beat up, which we like, the beating up. I just don't like it. Yes, yes, okay. Awesome, thank you. Um... Guys, I don't mind y'all sharing links to things if you are an actual follower of mine, but if you are um, just jumping on and trying to sell, I, I mean, I, I don't know. It's not like I'm a big dog running on, off a porch, but anyway, I find that interesting. So I don't know if it's like a troll or it's a real person, but if you want to, just ask. I'm, I'm all about rising together as women. We've got to support each other or men, you know, in the creative world. So I just wanted to do some paper crafting today. And that's what we're doing. Oh, look how fun that is. I know, I love, I have always, always loved old and vintage. Who knows, what was your, if you love vintage, and you know, where was that first moment that you fell in love with old stuff? I know mine. I totally know. I remember, I remember what I remember having, I remember seeing it and thinking, oh my goodness, where it was and who I was with. Yeah, I love paper crafting too. Okay. PIR Designs, tell me your name so I can call you by name. And if I'm supposed to know your business and your name and I don't, I'm really sorry. So, yep. Like Kim came on yesterday and I was like, okay, watch your name because I don't know. I can't keep up. But um, there, I love paper crafting. There's really no money in it, but this is just for fun for me. 
So I'm just playing with some new digitals, and I love to give ideas. Um, so can you remember your fa when you first fell in love, if you love vintage, where was it? Tell me in the comments. I will tell you mine. So my grandmother, um, uh, she has this gorgeous Victorian, it's a Victorian um, china cabinet. I have it upstairs in my office slash former dining room. And I've had it for, she died when I was 22 maybe? No, 23, sorry. I'm 56, so how many years is that? 33 years? Crazy. And that tells you how long I've been out of college, which is, which I'm just like, I don't know how that happened. I don't know how that happened. It's almost, yeah. And I've been out of high school almost 40 years. That's like my mom. That's like my mom. I remember my mom's reunions like this age. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, thank you, Patricia. Thank you for saying hello. I appreciate it so much. Um, where do you, where, where, what state are you in? Um, I love knowing. Um, so anyway, so my grandmother, so tell me if you did, she had this, chi this child hunch. I will try to put a picture up. I did a video. It was totally confusing. One of my YouTube videos. And anyway, anywho, um, she used, she had all kinds, she kept all her dishes in there. Okay. All right. So look right here. So we've got, we can do two. We can just put them right over top of this. And so we still have the awesome inside covers that look like that. I think that's going to work. Let's try it. It's only paper. These are old. It's not like, um, I'm, you know, losing anything major. Let me pull this up. It's not like I'm, you know, <clears throat> it's not like I'm going to, it's just paper and it's all scrap. So if it doesn't work, eh, we'll just, I'll just use it for something else. Now I'm going to put my lid on because my three in one gets kind of gross. Let's just put a little vintage photo on this with a little makeup brush from the Dollar Tree. That's now a Dollar 25 tree. And I'm just going to do the corners so you don't see the folder. This one is not as much, but there's a little bit, you know? There we go. This one has a little more right there, which I don't mind. I love the paper. Yeah. Oh, there's one, that little corner right there. This may work, this may not, who knows? I'm, and then I'm gonna glue it and then, oh no, got into my Diet Coke. That's okay, we're gonna glue it in him. Oh, yes. Oh no, sweetie. No, we're not, we're, we're, we're vintage, hence vintage bandits. I have two boys, they're bandits and they're, they're vintage. I'm vintage and they're bandits. So that's kind of the name of the game. Yep, let's just, um, so I love, I love, she had all kinds of dishes, and she had um, red ruby dishes, and oh my gosh, I thought those were the prettiest things ever, ever, and she, I would cut her hair, this is the funniest thing, and I didn't want her to pay me, but she would pay me either with like, um, this is my dad's mom. So my dad died in 80 and she would um, give me stuff. I have his, he was in World War II. So I have like, I have his, I have a bracelet he brought home to his mom that has the U.S. Navy on it. I have, or she would give me old games of theirs. Hi, Ellen. Hello, 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 Cheryl. I didn't say hello to you. I apologize. So I have all kinds of stuff, but she had these cool dishes, and I just loved looking at them. You know, up in the um, China, it was, and I was little, and it was tall, not tall, I'm as tall as it is now. And um, it's got this gorgeous beveled mirror on top. It's got the curved glass. It's very Victorian, and I'm I used to love it because I, you know, I loved Victorian. I loved I loved um, Somewhere in Time that movie, and so I wanted to be everything Victorian. And kind of Edwardian at that time. I think it was more Edwardian than Victorian at the time. But I didn't know the difference then. I just loved 
the movie and the romance. Oh my goodness. La, 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 la. Whatever. So realistic. Um, you know, that was before I was jaded by life. <laughs> so it knows that my true romance, my true love is Jesus. <laughs> anyway. Um, so that's what I loved it. So I just thought it was so pretty. I did my room and kind of Victorian look. It was just ridiculous, but whatever. At the time, I loved it. Yes, I've watched that movie a thousand times. You know, and honestly, I'm just like, seriously, Beth. I look back and I just want to say thank you, Lord, for giving up on me. <laughs> yes, I feel like I have stuff. You know, I lost my dad so young. I feel like that I, you know, I was, I don't know. I just was, I missed some talks I should have had with him, you know. But it is okay. I'm good. God is good all the time. I'm just doing these edges. I don't even know how I put this together. But let's just see if we can knock off some white. Showing. Okay, so that looks pretty cute. Isn't that a fun cover? I love. Okay, so this is going, this is going to be, this is how it's going to go. Or this way, either way. This is going to be the book, and it can be small. And what we can do is we could do washi. We could do anything to make a hinge, you know, which would be fine. Now, Amity Bloom, she sewed all her pages together. I don't know how to sew, so that's not happening. And so there's a tall one and a sideways. Here's the, here's the, the vertical. The vertical page, vertical book, and then there's a horizontal. I started with horizontal. And she did all kinds of samples in this. She did double. I can't get my computer. I can't get my thing, my printer to do double printing. I so hate cutting like this. So I could either... I can just glue this to a page, or I could just accept that I have white on the back of some of these. Or, or, or I could, let's just ponder for a second. I could do, um, you know, cut them out. Let's talk about this. Talk it through with me. Okay. Let's get some coffee paper. I could just pull out coffee paper that I have. Fold it in half. I need to see if it's going to fit. I don't know if it's going to fit in this folder. If it needs to be tweaked or not. If it's going to fit in this book. It needs to be tweaked a bit. But I'm wondering if we do a bunch like this. And what we could do is make a signature, and obviously I'm going to trim it to fit. So I'm jerry-rigging this thing because clearly I don't know what I'm doing. So, sorry about that. Any questions about anything? No. Why would you ask me? Because I'm an idiot. Okay, but what we could do is we could set it up and like I could cut this and we could have it go on, you know, we could cut them apart and glue the pages in and then this could be the signature. Oh, oops. And then we could do like, um, so it's not backwards or forwards, but how many do we have? We could, okay. So what I'm thinking is do this side and then go back and then we put it on this side. Okay, so you've got that. And then when we fold it, we'll have like double-sided, but we're using coffee dye in the middle of it. Is that making any sense? Am I crazy? So, like, each page, we get two sides. It's going to be nice and, nice and um, 
So then this would go on one, and this would go on one. So really, we just need, do I have any more? Do I have any more like that? Pages, or are these all tall? So I probably need to print out some more. Or we could just use plain coffee. We could do one page of just coffee dye. Or, 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 yes. Oh, yes. Or, we could just do the front and leave the back. Or we could do book pages. Like, ants, like, um, if I had, do you have dictionary pages around here? That would be fun. Because we're just gluing. We could save our coffee dyed paper, which is a lot of work. Let me see. And just glue the back of that. I think that's a smart idea. And then we'll cut them out and then put them together. And this is supposed to be like a sample of fabric and or anything, you know? Okay, since I don't have any pages to glue on that, let's do... Well, I could do that too. Yeah, I could totally paint. I could, I could glue them back to back. Yeah, 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 yeah. I could totally do that, Sandy. I just don't want it to pucker, so I don't know. I think maybe if I use book pages, then it will, um, it will, I don't know if I have book pages in here or not. It will give me more space in it, too. You know what I'm saying? It'll give me more journal space. Now I've got a quagmire, don't I? Now what do you want to do, sis? Now what are you thinking? Where's all your... Where's all your... Or, 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 or I could go back and find, you know, like um, full pages, like this blue over here. This, I think this is midnight. Or I could find these and do alternate, you know, and do full sheets of something. This does not quite go with this, but it's close. That would be fun. So, you know, so we would have that. And you could do pictures of inspiration, and then you could get... So, what she just uses for washi tape, but what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use the swatches for, like, my house. And I can take, like, wall color swatches and fabric swatches, and I can just write the name and number, and then you keep a cute little book with you. Like, just put it in the side of my car, and then if I'm out shopping, and I need to see if it's going to work with something. Not that I need anything. I'm not, I'm not acquiring furniture. I'm getting rid of it. But you can do, you could totally, I'll show kind of how to do that. I love to have, like, a little booklet with all the information of your home. If you're building your home, 20 years ago I had this. You know, now I'm getting rid of stuff. Um, you could do that. So... We're going to put this, we're going to put this little project to a pause and come back to it. Okie dokie. Let's move on to snippets. Do y'all know what snippets are? Does anybody care what a snippet is? We're going to make a cute little snippet to go on our little pocket we made. There we go. Right here. Ooh, sorry. It is not the company. It is not the company at all. You all are fabulous. So let's use this as our base. A little, this, little bit of this gold, which is fun. I'm just going to tear it like that. Oh my goodness. The gold's coming loose. That's not good. Just kind of tear the edges. I don't, want it to, I don't want it to be like a specific, like a punch out circle. That seems, you know, a little too perfect for me. I'm just going to go in and take those. This is an old, this is a book from the Dollar Tree. And sometimes, guys, you can, if you're not sure about something, just come back to it. I mean, I'm that way about a lot of things. Oh, that was walnut. Okay, that's good. We can do that. I'm going to make a little snippet just to go right here. And I'm not sure what we're going to do. A little, you and you can, you can mass make snippets. Um, you can... Let's, let's cut some of this out, or tear it this. This is a totally different color blue, but we can use that for a snippet. And, oh, who's calling me? Oh, who is this? Probably a child of mine. Nope, spam. Thank you, spam. So you can just pull this out and do something with that. So let's focus on this. And okay, let me see what we've got with this set. That's super cute, isn't it? It's 
muted that little flower. Let's see if I can give this thing justice. These blues are way more muted than me, but I, for some reason, I just loved it. And I wanted to get it. And so I did. <laughs> yup. I love this thing too, right there. That cute little labely thing. All right, let's see what we can do. There we go. Guys, the back of the shop is getting painted this weekend. painted. Then we'll start on the tile. Monday. I am going up there later today. I have to take care of my youngin, my son, who's almost 21. Okay, so I'm going to build this snippet right on this thing. And then let's do a little cutting on this. This, These are really old Fisker scissors that I have had since my oldest. I was going to show you all his. I used to cut out. He would draw an entire cast of a movie over and over and over and over and over. And I'm telling you all, I cut out thousands of characters with these little scissors. And I would just sit. He would bring them to me. I would just sit. And so I feel like this needs to be a little, needs a little aging on it. Just a little bit. Let's just put a little, it just seems, I'll show you what I'm talking about. It just needs a little warmth on it. Just warmed it up a smidge. Just a smidge. And it seemed kind of cool, you know? This, this is looking a little green, but that's okay. So we have, let's look at our pieces, our components to this snippet. Let's also get a little close and get rid of all the junk around me, all the visual clutter. Let's get rid of that just by focusing in. Let's throw that away. Let's throw that away. So we have this cool little piece right here. We have this, and then we have this label, but we need some more elements, I feel like. Um, we could always go in and add some coffee dyed paper if we wanted to. Let's see what it looks like if we kind of just knock off these harsh edges a bit and just age those up. And so you so like um, snippets, you can mass make these and do the same type of thing on each one. So I have this, but I also have I have some lace, which might be fun to put on there. Let's cut a piece of this maybe. And let me show you. Oh, this might be fun. I have all kinds of pieces. Um, hey Shannon. I've missed you. How are you? Yes, I'll do that. Look at these little, these are just pieces from a, um, an old quilt that I have, which is fun. Thank you, Shannon, so much for sprinkling. You were always so sweet to do that. Um, okay. I'm just looking in my stash, y'all. I got a little stashy drawer over here of Starry Silk and, and, um, um, Stuff, for want of a better word, because my brain is not working. <laughs> okay, let's see what that does. I'm gonna just get that, and let's smudge up these edges. This, I feel like, is too navy. We're gonna put you down, and you take up so much room. That is too royal and purpley. Okay. I love to, hey Nancy, yeah, I love um, the smudging. Okay, so we've got lots of components we could put here, and uh -huh. 
I have this is a little piece of sorry silk right there. Let's just, let's do something with this. If you are not getting my Sorry Silk subscription box, I would love for you to. Um, it is, you can, I send all kinds of Sorry Silk, and you know, if you're using it, I want to know if you're using it, if you're in my group, I'm gonna be talking to you, so go. Um, let's see, you can find it on Vintage Bandits Merc.com. It is $17 a month, and that includes your shipping and handling. And you can also get the membership group there, which is $7, and that is a group just for us creators and a devotion. So we get a little Jesus, we get a little creativity. It's almost like the perfect storm. You know, I'm gonna, that maybe goes there. Do we wanna add like a little lace? Like, let's make this a little darker. Let's age this lace up just a bit. Did y'all know you can do that? You can dye fabric with um, ink oxides. That's distressed ink. It's not distressed oxide. So we're just gonna use the ink. But I can do that with my ink as well. So I have oxide and inks. I just grabbed this on my trip, my little retreat. I was just like, I need that. Okay, so we could totally glue this down kind of like that on the side. And then I'm gonna finish up. Oh, good, good, good. Well, I have a box of sorry yarn that I send out to, I'll open it real fast. Let's do this and then I'll give a quick little tour of it. So we could do that, then we could add, oh wait, we wanna keep the gold, don't we? So let's do that. We could add that right, okay, yep, that goes like there. Okay, I'm just going ahead and glue this down because I want it. Yes, you could totally put it in coffee, yes. If I had some right here, I would, but I ain't got none. So I'm gonna use what I got on my table. All right, we can even kind of, you know, if we wanna gather it, it's kind of got a gathered edge to it. I'm just gonna sit here and hold this for a second. Yeah, I love Sorry Silk yarn and I love to iron it, and I love to use it in different ways. Come on, I need you to glue down. Just stick. Just stick. Okay, that's kind of sticking. We could even layer this paper over top of that, or we could do another piece of lace like that, and then add, um, you know, the flower with that. It gives us lots of textures, doesn't it? I feel like, you know what we're gonna do? I know what we're gonna do. Hey, Kath, how are you? Hi, darling, how are you feeling today? Okay, what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do, what I'm gonna do is just put brown all over this and then, okay, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add this down. Just put that there. The lace kinda, it just kinda glues through it. Okay, then I'm going to put this on there. I feel like it needs a little more color, but these are muted. So I'm trying to stay, stay focused on the vision of the paper. Then we're going to go in with this right there. Wait, oh, wait, wait, we're going to put some string on there. Let's put some string. That'll be nice to put a little string underneath it. And if it has some color in it, that is A-OK, -okay. like that. There we go. And then, oh, come on. So, as a former Pope in my life, hi Vicki, how are you? Um, thank you for joining. I'm gonna just try and glue all that down with that paper underneath it. So that's a cute little snippet. Do you see what I'm talking about now? And then what we can do is just take a little bit. I'm gonna get a tiny brush if I can get this to open. Tiny, tipsy, tiny brush. There's a chunk of sorry silk. 
right here. You can't see it. it there was a, that's layer. That was, oh, sorry. There's silk right there underneath it. Yeah. So I'm going to take a little thin brush, a little bit of copper. This is our copper patina from the DIY paint. And I'm just going to go in and just put a little like this around the edge of the flower. <gasps> oh, good deal. Yay. That's a nice long sleep. Do you feel better? You know, I never sleep, so I feel for your sister. I know you've got a lot going on, my friend, and so I'm so sorry, but you are prayed for. You could even do some fun splatter. Okay, look, just that little bit of, yes, we have copper and we have gold. I love mixed meat. I love mixed metals. Isn't that sweet? I would have done it in gold. I just don't have it, but I think that's sweet. And then we're gonna, we're gonna, um, we're gonna splatter it. But we're gonna glue it to this cute pocket right here, and then that can go into a journal. And what I'm gonna do is take this little label, and then you can label your pocket whatever is in it. Isn't that fun? I kind of like it. So let's lay this thing flat. I think that is going to be fun. Loving that. Yay, Beth. I know. I love, I love a bit of shimmer. And I almost pulled my gold spray. Ooh, you know what we could do? <gasps> That's what we need to do. I just realized what we needed to do. Which was my favorite splatter ever is my gold watercolor. And then we're going to, we'll do that. And I think I'm just going to add that right like that. So you have a little label. Or do we want to put something like that and put the label on it like that? I think that's too much. Too much. Refrain. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Niagara Falls. I don't know your name. I know, I know you. You've got to help my brain. And I think I am going to do my story in a video and tell you all why I always blame my brain because it really is damaged. Damage. Oh, of course, Kath. I swear every time I see you on my thread, I say a prayer for you, my love. And, I, you know, we all are battling something, friends. We are all battling. Okay, I'm just going to put some water. This is watercolor. And it's the most gorgeous gold. Can I say that one more time? Summer. That's right. Yes. Thank you. You guys say, hey, it's summer from Niagara Falls, Canada. Okay. And that will remind me, because I know you, Summer. I do. I totally know you. Yes. Okay, so this is just watercolor, and it actually makes the best splatter ever. Can I tell you all that? It's incredible. So, let's see. Yeah. It makes, for watercolor, I don't, it's awesome. So we just get a little shimmer right there. It's on Amazon. I'll drop a link. Oh, come on. There's my camera. Come down. There we go. Isn't that kind of fun? It's a little splotchy right there, but I'm okay with that. Yeah. Let's do a little up here. And on the flower. I think that's so fun. That's a cute pocket. I can't wait to use that. Yes, I got it off Amazon. It may be on my list. I don't know. Okay, real quick, real quick. We've got like one minute, okay? I've kept y'all long enough. I've got to take a sick boy to the dock. Yeehaw. Sick, sick young man. He is not a boy. Oh, y'all can't see me shaking my head. There are moments. There are more moments of boyhood. Okay, this one did not get sold, so I'm just going to open it for y'all. I had it sealed, ready to go. But this is what you get in the mail, so you can see it. I'm going to clean that up with some paper. And we'll just put that gold right on there, not waste it. Okay, this is fun. So, I have two, two June boxes. Yeah, because I'm a goober. Anyway, um, what is what lace? Lace on the pocket? Yeah, this is just stuff that I have, just scraps I have that I use. So, so I 
stupidly because I'm in transition. Lost my mind. Just all I'm going to say. Oh, thank you, Summer. You're so sweet. Thank you so much. You know what? God gets all the glory because I'm, uh, I have terminal gooberitis. I'm just going to let y'all know that. But I thought it was funny. I put sunglasses on. So there's two June boxes because this next one will be the July box. Yeah. Okay. But this is what you would get. You get all kinds of sorry silks and trims. This, it's been basically sorry silk for a while, but you just get a little bundle, a little box, and this is all tie dyed. And when you iron it, it's crazy. And this yellow is gorgeous. This is kind of, this is not sorry silk. So you get, ten, you get one yard of 10 different types of trim or lace or fabric. Um, I like to put anything that you can use. You know, if this, you can make jewelry with these. You can make bookmarks. Oh, thank you, Kath. I think he's fine. Here's the issue. We leave for a family trip on a week from today for Gettysburg, where there will be a three-year-old and a six-month-old. So we gotta get well fast. So what I need y'all to pray for is no COVID. He just got back from Vermont yesterday. Now, and there my son's like, you need to wear a mask. I'm like, dude, I was just with a bunch of people last weekend and I was hugging 30 people. My immune system is pretty awesome, okay? Oh yeah, iron it. Yes, it's so fun when you iron it because then you can see it. I've ironed it. I would iron it for y'all, but sorry, I'm not that nice. Too much ironing. But when you iron it, it, it puts on a totally different life. And you can see, you can see the, um, the tie dye and it's so pretty. I love to iron it. So, and then you, because then you get like double and then you can actually see the colors. Cause I know you're all probably thinking she just sent us a bunch of, of cream, but when you iron it, you get all the subtlety. This is just a two tone, which is glorious. Nice and summery in June. June-ish. Look how pretty. When you iron it, it's gorgeous, y'all. So pretty. And then we have this, and then I have it in turquoise. This one is kind of purpley in turquoise, which I love. And you iron it. Look at that. You could use that little piece on a snippet. Think about it. <gasps> yes, I would love it. Yes, yes, yes. Send me everything. I want all pictures. Message, put it on in my creative group. Totally. You can totally do that. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So I didn't just send all cream, but you can, this one's like a pink and an orangey. This is a pink and purpley. So there's all different colors. Green, a little more muted. This one is a little more bright. So, you know, it's got kind of a chartreuse. So there's lots in a kind of a gray. So if you wanted to save this for fall, you kind of could. Look at that. This would be gorgeous. You could take this and make a bracelet, iron it. You could take strips, make earrings. Guys, there's just so much that you could do, you know? Look at that. Yeah, this is kind of almost, sometimes they're flatter. It just depends on how they've been dyed and where I get from my wholesaler. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Okay, yes. I will get that for you. Hey, I don't know if Lee's still on here, but if you go to my page... It's the, I don't know. I'll find it and I'll, I'll put it in the comments. Either I or Lee will, okay? Lee is the one who keeps me moving forward. So, that is what you get with the Sorry Silk Group box. And it comes to your door. And what's really cool, guys. Okay, oh, good, good. Yes, I make earrings of Sorry Silk too. So, if you wanted to make them for gifts, these are great bookmarks. It's not just for journaling, so... This box fits perfectly in a drawer, so you can put a label right here, and you can store, like you can you can store different trims or whatever you want to, like you can do tie-dyed. So it's also a little organizational tool. I like to give, I like, I want, I love, I love little fun boxes. When this comes in the mail, doesn't this just make you smile? Yes. You know what, I, I do, I think I have done one with jewelry. If I haven't, I will find out. There's lots of ways you can, you can add it to um, just a ring, or you can get like, um, you can get like, <clears throat> I'll show you those. You can get like the leather jewelry from um, Amazon, and then you can you can put some you can you can put some you can decorate it, and then you can glue it on there. Yeah, so good. Super easy how to make the earrings. You can also make. Um, 
you can you can braid you can crochet it and make a bracelet yeah yes thank you yes you go to my website vintagebanditsmerk.com and you go to the it's the vbm vintage bandits mercantile sorry silk and trim box and you can sign up and if you order before the 15th you will get you'll get next month so super excited about that and I am curating July's right now. I'm trying to do a little different. I'm also messing, I'm also pondering with a maker's box. So we'll talk about that maybe later. I've got to run. It's been lovely being with you. Everything I've said, my my membership group, which is so fun, and it's a Zoom. So you get we get to see each other and talk. How fun is that? And if you can't make it to that, then I upload it to either to the page or on YouTube, and you get a link to that. And so you can see it. Or it's a... <clears throat> I'm trying to figure all that out, okay? And then, so if you know somebody um, that is into crafts, it's not just for journals. You can make bracelets. You can, my girlfriend, she crochets and knits with it. You can knit it into sweaters. You can, it's just a maker's tool. And so, I feel like I just haven't put the message out there well enough. So, all right, guys, I've got to go. Time is ticking. Be blessed. Be the light. Go love on somebody well. If you pray in public at a restaurant, make sure to leave a great tip. Do not let them call us chinchy, okay? We and if they're not, if it's not a good, if it's not what good service, maybe their mama's sick, maybe their baby's sick, maybe their spouse is sick. We don't know. Oh. Oh, let's, Summer, let's work on that. I'm going to message you. Message me. Okay. Let's figure that out. We could split it. For you to get a box, I will split. I, we Let's just talk. Okay. We'll talk. Let's privately talk, not here on YouTube and everywhere. So, um, anyway, be the light. Love people well. So, my membership group would be free. You would not have to do anything. You could just watch. Then we get to talk, which would be fun. It's only seven bucks a month. And you get digitals, which you can download. Three to five digitals I create myself from my own stuff where I make it or I found vintage and I scan it. And then you get, it's like an hour and a half craft just for y'all. Nobody else gets it. And a devotion. So, and that will be a week from, two weeks from yesterday will be the next one, July. So excited. Um, and um, let's talk summer. Okay, so message me. We need to talk. And because I would love for you to have just a little bit. Let's, um, let's go have a great day. So, all right. Sorry. Be the light. Be the light. Be the light. Yes, that's what I was saying. Yes, I use Pirate Ship. I do, Cece. I know your name's not Cece. Is it? It is Cece. Yes, I do use Pirate Ship. Yeah, I love Pirate Ship. So, that's the only way I can include shipping with these boxes is through Pirate Ship. So, I will check it out. Send me, um, Summer, send me your um, address, and let's just see if we can figure it out, okay? All right, guys, be blessed. I'm going to go take care of my little rug rat who's almost 21 and weighs so much bigger than me. <laughs> I have men. Just sidebar, you know when your boys grow up and you look at their legs and they have man legs, and you're like, where did my baby?